Hey, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Vision. Hey, give me some that, babies. Boop. Oh, grrr. hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sending you so much love and good vibes, babies. Thank you to my OGs, my in-betweens, and welcome new subscribers. Welcome to the family, babies. I love you. I'm always sending you so much love and beautiful energy. You are amazing. Know that I'm always proud of you. And remember, babies, you can do it. No matter how hard it gets, you can do it, okay? Now, reminder, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into them, they will resonate accordingly. Okay, my babies. I pray that whenever you're peering into my reading, whether during the week, the weekend, day, night, evening, you just can't sleep, that it helps you. And it is such a beautiful pleasure. And I am eternally grateful that this is a part of my purpose and I can help you guys, okay? Along your self-evolution, okay? Sacred, spiritual, individualized journeys of co-creating, alchemizing, manifesting, healing, and much more, okay? I love you, love you, love you. Absolutely do, babies. All right, let's get to the reading. But before we do, we call upon God, our angels that are assigned to us. We call upon our ancestors, spirit team, passed on loved ones, high-ranking deities and Orishas. Yes, that love us, protect us, guide us every single day. First and foremost, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a minute. Amen. And we ask of you during this message and even after this message to please protect us from any evil eye, black magic, witchcraft, negative projections, negative energy, false narratives, gluttony, gossip, lies, rumors, untruths, unclean spirits, lower deities, or anything that is being sent to us out of jealousy, envy, rage, or to negatively impact our lives, well-being, or the well-being of our children and our loved ones. We ask of you immediately, instantaneously to send it back and to remove it. Mote it be, amen, immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and please block any interferences during this reading. All right, my baby, so let's see what is going on, okay? In the energy moving forward. What is going on, Spirit? Make it please clear and straight to the point. All right, ooh, so when it comes to people that have been wearing a mask, these attachments, um, people that wanted to stay attached to you, that were dealing with you, talking to you, around you, wanting to be friends with you, wanting to be more than friends with you, wanting to be in a relationship with you, wanting to do business with you, whatever reason that they gave you, that they were around you, it's a lie. And their mask is coming off. And these attachments, okay, are now, you know, are unhappy. They're unhappy, okay? Not only that, it's because of the lack of healing that they do, all right? So if I'm stopping, pausing, just work with me, y'all. I'm getting the messages. So you had people attached to you for their own selfish reasons and benefits, and whatever they were taking or using you for as a benefit has stopped with happiness and healing in reverse. This is for these fake people that you no longer deal with is what I'm being told, okay? Yep, I'm hearing what goes around comes around. Let's see what else. What's going on, Spirit? What's the message here? What's the message here? Yeah, you and your divine counterpart, or this is just you in a balanced energy, okay? Had attachments, family, friends, coworkers, 
um, people that were also attached to them, you know, watching you, collaborating with said people to ruin your happiness and healing and your relationship, your connection, okay? All of these people you need to clear out or you have cleared out, okay? Which bring you to a state of balance, okay? For some of you, which has already brought you and your twin flame, high level soulmate together, okay? For others of you, you could already be with your twin flame, high level soulmate, and by you and this person releasing all of these attachments, okay, it brought you and your person back to a state of healing and happiness, and it is reversing for these attachments, okay? Yeah, with that siren, it's not good for these attachments, okay? You are an angel of love, a beacon of love. You are also either manifesting a really beautiful relationship, a really loving, open-hearted partner, or this is who you're already with. And people wanted to stay attached to you because people wanted to be with you. People saw you as their uh, source of healing and happiness for their own selfish benefit, okay? And as you release these individuals, you came back into a state of equilibrium, balance, yeah? Which interrupted the balance and the fake healing that these attachments were doing. And the reason why I say fake is because mask off. You know, this fake person is taking their mask off. Now people are seeing the real them, okay? And people are seeing the real you. Yeah, so the message is people that wanted to stay attached to you, to gain from you, to gain your happiness and your personal healing, to gain your balance, to gain your twin flame or the life that you're supposed to live with your twin flame higher level soulmate. I'm hearing null and void, failure. They failed because they were always meant to fail. They were never going to gain any of that. And when it comes to their life, it's backfiring. As you are balanced, they are going through a lot of unhappy circumstances and situations. Okay, so let's clarify a little bit more, babes. I haven't used this tarot yet, but my golden tarot. So... These people are unhappy. You are balanced. Whether you are by yourself, embodying the feminine and the masculine energy, or you are with your twin, your higher level soulmate, and you guys are balancing, you know, this connection together, working together, okay? Equal exchange. All right, door of personal healing and happiness. Why is this in reverse? Why is this in reverse, please? Okay. Ooh, because what was hidden has been revealed. Okay? When it comes to these people that wanted to be attached to you, I'm hearing the ball has dropped. People can see these people for who they are, and they are empathizing on what they did to you. Like, they're empathizing with you. These people are cheering you on. Because you didn't deserve to have your happiness and healing ripped from under you because of pure envy and jealousy. Yet, Spirit did this, God did this, so that you can be more strong, be more resilient for what lies ahead. Okay? Yeah. These people are crying. They're depressed, stressed out, can't sleep. They're being haunted by the same energy, the same demons that they sent you. They're questioning themselves on why did they even decide to come for you? Yeah. And the thing about it is you want these people to get karma and consequences because life 
will either break you or make you. And you want them to get this so that they can heal and so that they won't do this, so that they won't think it's okay to do this to someone else. So God is going to break these individuals and they're either going to make something better of themselves or they want to stay broken and stay isolated. But the cat's out of the bag. The draw, the ball has dropped. Secrets are being revealed. And these people that were just sucking off of you, my love, they were just stealing from you. I'm hearing, you know, a child's father, a child's mother, exes, friends, family, coworkers, people that you trusted near and dear just taking from you and you had no clue but all of that is is done it's gone and it's because you came back to a sense of balance of peace of equilibrium and you're not going to allow anyone to interrupt that anymore that's what i'm hearing yeah and as you are becoming balanced and in a zenful energy baby i can just feel it these people are stressed the fuck out because all, all of that energy that they've been sending towards you for years, targeting you for years, it is just all hitting them. Everyone that came for you and thought that they would get away with it, it's just hitting them heavily. Like everything in their life is like not only harsh, but crumbling slowly. It's like a slow burn, like a suffering. That's what I'm seeing and hearing when it comes to these people Woof. all right let's 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 see give us some more spirit give us some more um give us some more when it comes to personal door of healing and happiness okay let's give us some more so yeah all secrets everyone is being exposed okay everything is being revealed truth is out here okay Let's see, what's going on here? Let's clarify. Door to happiness and healing reverse. Door to happiness and healing reverse. Yeah. Wow. People are watching you, okay? Basically be enlightened about what had really happened when it came to the point, the pivotal point where your life shifted in a negative way. What actually happened is what you are now figuring out. And as you figure that out, it gives you a spiritual awakening, which is basically a perspective shift that allows you to transform and transition into a better way of being and thinking you can say it expanded, it expands your perception so that you can look at things differently. Which when you look at things differently, you act differently, you behave differently, right? You transform. Um, you're getting all the juice, all the tea, baby. Yeah. And now you're understanding, I'm hearing where you went wrong. And I'm hearing people are now understanding where they went wrong coming for you. Because they're fuck, they fucked around and now they're finding out, is what I heard. Yeah. You could be exposing these people in one form or another. And people are watching you expose these attachments. And these people agree with you. These people are rooting for you. These people, I'm hearing they admire you. You could be seeing 11-11 a lot. They admire you because you don't mind standing alone. This is you, the Herman. You don't mind standing alone. You know what you know. Your intuition tells you the truth and you believe it. And even if you got to stand alone until the truth is revealed, you will do so. Yeah. I'm hearing you are always being proven to be right and people hate it. They hate it. You are wise. Uh, what you went through has made you much wiser, much, much, much wiser. But people, I'm trying to tell you, the people that want to change and grow and mature, 
they are so like proud of you to, that you would rather stand alone than fall for anything because you know what you know and you've been through enough. Your awareness and discernment is on point. Your intuition is on point and you know it and you refuse to doubt yourself because when you doubted yourself in the past, you regretted it. So you know that these attachments are unhappy and they are unhealed and they're going through karma. And even if they want to hide it, eventually the truth will come out and, and you will stand alone on that truth until every person is revealed. And trust me, you're going to get your wish. Yeah. When it comes to a group, a collaboration, affiliation, okay, a secret society, a cult, Okay, a collaboration, a couple, individuals that you didn't know, that you did know, okay, narcissistic individuals, they all are going to be exposed. And you know it. You're just waiting, okay? <laughs> attachment, attachment, clarify attachment, spirit, clarify attachment, clarify attachment. Yeah, I told you these attachments were invested in your future. Oh, not like, oh, we support you, we love you. No, 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 no. In taking your future, taking your love life. I'm here and taking your whole life, taking your fate and your destiny. I'm hearing you know what you know when you're standing on it. And you know, eventually everybody will see what you have already predicted and what you have already seen. And people will come to you and apologize and confess and tell you you were right. Yeah. Good news. You got good news coming. You absolutely do. These people that you no longer associate with or you will not, okay? This is clarification. These people only invested in you or only wanted to be with you, around you, friends, family, people that acted as if they wanted more as far as relationships, okay? Business partnerships because they wanted your fate, money. And they wouldn't stop investing either. Like these people would continuously mess with you Mess with your partner if you are um, a twin flame or a high level soulmate so that they can keep investing into your happiness and act as if they're healing. They're not healing. Just for money. Mm-hmm. I'm here to let you know the truth is going to come out if it hasn't already. Okay? Yeah. And what you invested in, the hard work you put in, oh, you will see your, I'm hearing your, your garden blossom, the fruits of your labor. That's what I'm hearing. You will get good news. You absolutely will. Some of these people were so diabolical. They absolutely also kept coming for your children. Oh, they will be harshly punished for children because God don't play about kids. That's why these people need to really read the rules of life, the facts of life. But hey, let's uh, keep clarifying. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to get your justice as they get their karma. It's only right. It's only right. And God is a fair God. God is a fair God. God does not punish you for things you do not do. God does not punish you if you have unintentions. You just didn't know. Or maybe your intentions, you know, were pure because you thought. But when you found out the truth, you changed. God will forgive you for that. God will not punish you for that. But see, these people will find out the truth and still do what they want to do. No, no, no. Some of these people don't even believe in God. I remember this narcissist that I do not associate with anymore really asked me 
do you believe in God and why? And I just looked at this person like, wow, you are so lost. But I'm hearing God is going to show them or, the, or God is showing them already is what I'm hearing. But yeah, some of these people didn't believe in God like atheists. I'm hearing this person was an atheist. Some of these people are atheists. I know the person that said that they didn't believe in God was definitely an atheist. Okay. That uh, told me that. Oof. Yeah. I digress on my situation. <laughs> but when it comes to your situation, my loves. Yeah, some of these people were atheists, but they were, they were bad people. I'm going to just keep it a being. Um, you're going to get justice. You're still at the seven of pentacles. Say if you feel like you were going broke, you are going broke, things financially are unstable, like you feel like you're stuck. It's an illusion, man. It's, it's an illusion that these people are throwing at you. And that's why I'm here to continuously tell you to keep going Be, and do not feed into, you know, the fear, the worry, please, because that's how a lot of this magic shit works. When you feed into the confusion, the worry, you know what I'm saying? The heartbreak. Uh-uh, look past that. Completely look past that, for real. And be strong, because you are spiritually strong. So if, say, if, you know, you're like, maybe you got $20 in your account, and I'm telling you, you're at the seven of pentacles. You are. Energetically, you are. But you have to tell yourself that. You have to reiterate that to yourself. Before you go to sleep, you should be telling yourself how fucking amazing you are and how amazing your life is. Because you are in this energy. You will get your justice. Another thing I had to realize is I you cannot fixate on these fucking people. You can't. You can get the message. God will let you look at the message, like the message that I'm giving you. Leave it alone after that. You don't want to feed these people any of your energy by thinking about them, talking about them, seeing if they get their karma. God will let you know. <laughs> like, trust and believe. Okay, babies? All right. But you're getting your justice. Mm-hmm. A married couple that came for you is getting karma for investing in trying to affect your happiness. And you know that this married couple was a part of it. I'm hearing a couple of married couples for some of you or people that were in relationships, okay? Somebody just wanted to marry you as well just to like siphon off of your healing energy and your happiness. You're, you're, you have a heart of gold. Like no matter what you go through, you still have this childlike energy and people want that from you, but that's built within. That's just who you are, man. But anyway, let's keep it going, my guys. Yin and yang, because I'll just be up here preaching. <laughs> I'll be up here preaching, y'all. Yin and yang, yin and yang. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm trying to just see because I'm, I'm I'm trying to ask is these are, are these two different energies or is this the same person? So mm. you have a King of Cups and a Page of Cups. Okay, this could be your person, and you could have a child with this person. Okay, you could be pregnant by this person. If that's not the case, you could you you could. In the future, have a child with this person. But you, if this is the same person, this King of Cups energy, this person is in love, love with you. <laughs> like you got the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. Like this person is very intuitive. Um, this person is in love, love with you. Like that's what I'm hearing. This is your masculine. A King of Cups energy is your masculine. And they are so sweet. 
You could have a child with this person or you're destined to have a child with this person. This person is crushing on you. Especially whether you're with this person or not, but yeah, this person puts in the work or is willing to put in the work for you. Yeah. And they reject other options because they know that you a catch. They know what they got is what I heard. They know what they have. Ooh, damn, I love it. Let's clarify this page of cups. Is this a child or is this like, this man got two cups just for you. Like, you know how two of cups, you're, you're exchanging cups. It's like this man loves you more than you love him. And it's not the fact that you don't love him. Oh, you, I, I'm hearing you do or you will, depending on if you're in a relationship or not, or you're dealing with someone or not. So with these two cups, I feel like this man loves you more than you love him, but you will love him like hard as well, or you do. And that's what, honestly, that's what you want. I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to just give you a gem. That's what you want. You really want a man that love you more than you love him. And it's not the fact that you don't love him. It just has to be that way, yo. <laughs> And it just, it just, it just hit. I, that's what I have learned. Okay. Even in my own profession. All right. Let's clarify the page of cups real quick. What is the page of cups? Ooh. So all of the other messages definitely apply. But remember, somebody tried to um, kill your child. I'm going to keep it a bean. Okay, or hurt your child, come into their dreams, put them in a the hospital. They either did this, they tried to do it again. Um, they, yeah, they did this, or they wanted to try to do it again. That's what I heard. I'm trying, oh, these people are gonna get it. I do not when it comes to kids, y'all. Motherfuckers gonna pay when they really try to come for kids. So your masculine is this king of cups and these attachments or one of these attachments, whether it's a couple or a single person, definitely try to kill or unalive your child. Yep. And spirit and God don't fucking play about it. Oh, they're going to get it in the worst way. They're going to get it in the worst way. If any of these people try to come into your child's dream, and kill them or battle them or fight them, they're gonna get it in the fucking worst way. I'm trying to tell you, yeah. I feel like you do have a child by this person or somebody did some form of a abortion type of spell, like to kill your child in a sense. So you might have had an abortion. Somebody had an abortion because that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say a miscarriage. An abortion. Somebody had an abortion here. Somebody killed a child. Ooh, what, what's going on with that spirit, real quick? I didn't, I, I didn't mean to say that, but we gonna tap in real quick. Somebody killed, had an abortion. Ew, what's going on with that? Somebody had an abortion. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. We have a high priestess here. So what I'm getting is a dark high priestess. A dark high priestess lied and said she either got an abortion so she could get money from a king of cups or she had a miscarriage or she was never pregnant, never pregnant got an abortion, or had a miscarriage. Whatever way, this uh, dark, spiritualist woman that keeps popping up in these readings, she wanted to trap your person. She even wanted your person so bad she could have tried to kill the child that y'all have together or the child you could be pregnant with. Wow. Wow. I'm hearing this person had an abortion or a miscarriage and it wasn't even your person's child. Yeah, why I say that? Because you have 10 of cups in reverse and sad. 
But also, I feel like this woman is sad because she thought she was going to get your Ten of Cups. And your person, I'm trying to tell you, your person is in love with you. Like, love, love, love. <laughs> no, that was never going to happen. And she's sad. That's not all she's going to be sad about if she sat up here and tried to kill your child because she wanted your person. Or someone she thought that was your person is what I'm hearing for some of y'all. But for others of y'all, this wicked spiritualist, okay, that I made, she cloaks herself like she's a good person. This person is sad because, yeah, you got the Ten of Cups and she didn't, pretty much. And she faked a pregnancy? She either, I'm just hearing this woman act as if she had an abortion so she can get money. Or she had a miscarriage or she faked a pregnancy, either or. But if anyone tried to kill a child in the past or came in their dreams to affect them, your children, your child, this King of Cups that you share a child with, if you do, um, their ass is grass, man. That's what I heard. And they know their ass is grass. That's off. Children are off limits. Children are off limits, man. This dark spirit says, no, she's fucking done. Like, it, it, she's fucking done. Especially being a spiritualist, right? Being a light worker myself, you have to follow certain rules. You really do. And to do any type of spell work, you have to get permission from your ancestors. Like, from people in a different realm. From spirits. Like, whatever the case is, this bitch broke so many rules. And she's misleading so many people. On top of the fact that she is a dark witch behind the scenes, she messed with a chosen one, chosen ones, earth angels is what I'm hearing. And she even possibly tried to, wow, unalive your child with someone else. Like it's a collaboration. Okay. That's what I heard. Oh, God. Yeah. She thought her plan worked, but it didn't. Whatever she thought, it, it didn't work. Now, if that is not your story, I'm also getting like a, a dark spiritualist or someone that's in, in the closet spiritually, man. Like they do dark witchcraft in the closet. Um, This person came towards your person and your person was like, fuck no. Like, no, absolutely not. She got her feelings hurt and then she tried to ruin y'all family. Pretty much. Okay? Your person loves you. Will always love you. This witch was sent towards your person. Pure greed and jealousy and envy. Okay? Um, she could have been sent from a uh, ex of yours. And, uh, a hater. An enemy of yours. Okay? Or she just took... Tried to seize an opportunity. That back, that's backfiring or harassed. Pretty much. Whatever the case is. Your person not fucking with her. And then she tried to basically end you and your person's happiness. Like, no. Ooh, child. Yeah, you know, don't even worry about it, baby. King of Cups. King of Cups energy. Yeah. <laughs> it's this, uh, see, you're, you're, okay. Some of you, your readers, spiritualists, right? Motivational speakers um, into metaphor, uh, metaphysics, astrology. You know, you're a light worker of the light side, all right? Or you just like to tap into that information, that healing um, frequency. You like it, you are very intuitive, right? You have gifts, maybe you don't use them in the spiritual world, maybe you do. Okay, whatever the case is, you're into spirituality, man. And you're very fucking gifted intuitively, all right? And I feel like your person wants you. They don't want this... Wicked Witch of the West, okay? They want you. That's what I'm getting, okay? So you're getting the good news, okay? You are. Whoever this other person is that tried to act kind or tried to act like she's intuitive or whatever bullshit game she was running or tried to run on your person, it's over. Yeah, pretty much. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. 
Queen of Swords. Yeah, because you're honest. Because you're honest, all right? King, Queen of Swords, you're honest. You're truthful. You're fair. You're just. Okay, you would never do or stoop to the lows that these people stoop to, no. He knows that you're honest. She knows that you're honest and truthful with this Queen of Swords. So they rather rock with you. They don't care. Like this person is, <laughs> I'm hearing this person say, I don't care if you're a little brute, you honest. I'd rather that than a fake person. Like, hell no. And your person, if you're gifted, your person is gifted, especially if you're twins. All right, I don't know. Let's see which way, which way. You're my star. Exactly. You're the star, babe. You're this masculine star. That's, yo, people that be wanting to be what they are not don't even have all the information. If the divine feminine is intuitive and gifted, why wouldn't the divine masculine be? I guess that's what they didn't count on because while your masculine is quiet or observant or they had to learn their lessons in the past. Your masculine chooses you. You're getting your justice. You know that all of these people are going to be exposed and revealed over time and you standing on that. You standing on what you know is to be true. People can put on facades. They can fraud all they want. But you know God is coming. And is in is exposing, okay? These collaborations, okay? These people, these couples, individuals that were invested in staying attached to you because that's the only way that they were going to get a taste of any type of success. But it damn sure won't gonna be yours anymore. God has released you, baby, okay? God sure enough has. Now, let's get some advice, okay, babes? Let's get some advice. Just one card. I haven't used this deck in a long time. And we're going to clean it up because I got to make these videos shorter, darlings. Got things in the background. And my, like I said, my storage is low. I got two phones. One work phone. One personal phone. My work phone is filled. So, okay. Until I figure out how to empty it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? The video's gonna be a little shorter, darlings. All right? Shoot. Advice for the collective. Advice. All right. That's what I heard. Keep going with the flow. All right? It says to the sea, keep going with the flow. You good, boo. You good. You straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you're fair. I told you, Queen of Swords, you're fair. You're just. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. You're fair and you're just. Keep going with the flow. We got you. 11 and 7. You could be seeing 777, 11, 7, 7, 11. That's lucky. 11, 11. Okay, yep. Yeah. Let's keep going with the flow. So you could be in a family dynamic here. I told you, you this page of cups could be your, your child that you have with this king of cups. Or you could be pregnant. Or this is a future child that they didn't want to come into existence. Okay. Um, whatever the case is, you and your family will be doing it the right way. And God is behind you 110%. You must know that. Seven is a very spiritual number. Eleven, God is giving y'all a brand new freaking beginning to do it the right way. So God is giving you and your twin flame a brand new beginning to do it the right way. And getting all of these fucking people out of the way that thought that they were going to stay like a leech attached to you and your person. Just sucking off of y'all for life. Absolutely not. Okay? You deserve to be happy, and that is what God is delivering, period. That's the message, my babies. Yes, so continue to be poised and gracious and be happy. You deserve this. Until the next message, my loves, I will be putting out more videos. 
Okay, please make sure you hit the uh, bell button so you know when I'm posting. Please subscribe. Okay, donations are also welcomed. All right, I love you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Hell yeah, because you know we in this together. Okay, what you're going through, I have already been through. For some of you, I'm a, I am actually going through the same things. But know that if I can continue to push forward, you can too. Know that if my Divine Masculine can stay balanced and love me, yours will do the same for you, okay? No one will interfere with your peace or throw you off your square. Don't allow them. I don't care how much confusion magic. I don't care what these people think that they're going to do. Well, at this point, for my situation, it's just being thrown back to them. Um, for some of your situations as well, but everybody's on a different timeline. So just stay grounded, all right? Keep sending that energy back. If you're with your twin flame, stay in the present moment. If you get triggered, it's how you respond. So respond calmly and within peace and communicate. Communicate what's going on as well as the spiritual warfare when it comes to your um, twin flame higher level soulmate so y'all can consistently stay on the right track. Know that for some of you, people will try to come towards you. Some people will be sent towards you to try to be a distraction keep your head on the swivel baby i'm here with you to guide you to love on you to let you know that if i can get it through you can do it too and i'm still on my journey okay and as i learn i get to understand these messages way more way more uh man and the things that just keeps unlocking for me um like I'm, I'm i am being shown a lot that happened to me in the past because i'm ready to accept it and understand it back in the past i would have fucked somebody up you know i keep i keep uh, on me i don't i don't play them games <laughs> but uh like and i used to have a really bad temper but you know now it's different, and that's why I feel like all of this information is coming out now from the past. Because God feels like a lot of you guys are ready to deal with it. Are ready to cleanse and release it. And, you know, once you've accepted the truth of how these people are that you loved, that you actually had love for, that you actually helped out, and much more. What they were fucking plotting against you behind the back, behind the scenes... Once you can accept that and release it, oh, better is to come, baby. And they will be watching you. Trust me. I love you, babies. I'm going to leave right there until next time. I love you, babes. <laughs>